such a beautiful day outside. It's bright, it's sunny, there's no clouds at all. Today's gonna be a good day. I wanna review a good blast of supervisor, I swear! Oh, who could forget the lovable Nerf Hyper Siege 50? The blaster with mid-capacity, mid-performance, mid-ergonomics, and mid-design. All while being riddled with problems that Supervisor knows that nobody likes. Why am I reviewing this? I have no idea. Mainly because I reviewed the other two Hyper Blasters, so now this is the last one on the list. So I gotta get to it eventually, and I've been avoiding this for a while. First off, going over the design, it looks like a shoe. No, it really does. Look, if you flip it upside down, it's a shoe. Here's the ankle part, and then this is where your foot goes in. It's a shoe blaster! Honestly though, I really love this design and I'm not sure why. It might just be because of the simplicity or the fact that there's really nothing else shaped like this, but this is a really interesting design blaster and I can respect them for that. Going over the ergonomics, as I said at the beginning, they're mid. The main grip is almost really good. It's a really good size and it's nice and filleted, but the front of it's square and the back of it's kind of square. Why do they do that? The pump grip though is just absolute golden perfection. It is so comfortable and there's big ridges along the side so that you can actually get your whole hand on it, which is something that more Nerf grips need to do. I genuinely love holding this thing because the front hand makes it super comfortable and it makes up for what the back hand lacks. So how does this thing work? Well, you open the top, load in a whole bunch of hyper rounds, then you pull this back and push it forward to prime. Then you pull the trigger to fire once or you have slam fire. This prime is unreasonably smooth. Like, really, really smooth. Like, so smooth that it rivals the Warden, the Twin Shock, and a super greased up rough cut. Meanwhile, the trigger pull is super snappy, super responsive, and super satisfying, even when there's nothing in the blaster. Ugh. I would do a segment talking about why using hyper rounds is a bad idea, but I think this firing demo will prove it pretty well. I'm only going to be shaking the blaster when I absolutely need to. The first few rounds I'm going to do single shot and then I'm going to slam fire off the rest. What the heck? That's not fair! Oh, you weren't supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to look good. You were supposed to be stupid. That was genuinely the best sequence of feeding I've ever gotten out of this blaster. Usually when I try to shoot it, it just says, I don't feel like working today, try next Tuesday. And it's just a mess trying to get it to do anything at all. It dry fires a lot and you end up having to shake the blaster more often than not. And you saw a few times there that it was dry firing, but usually it dry fires way more than that. I know I look like an idiot because I explained all the reasons why you shouldn't buy this blaster and then the blaster actually worked well, but you just gotta kinda take my word for it because I had to put up with this thing a lot through my testing procedure. Here's the sad part though. The blaster itself is actually really good. It's basically a better version of the rival Helix, but it's sullied because it has to use hyper rounds. Hyper is such a stupid ammo type. There's so many problems with it I can't even get into the details. Like, if this thing used any other ammo type, even ultra rounds, screw it, I would genuinely say this is good. But it uses hyper rounds, so it's not good. It's stupid! I don't know, if you don't mind how stupid hyper is and the fact that you're going to struggle with misfires all the time, go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, please get anything that doesn't say nerf hyper on it. With that said, if you want to pick these up, I will link it in the description below. Subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below how many times do you think I had to deal with wasps in my face during the filming of this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!